welcome back to let's learn and i am kartika and if you are new, new to this channel please subscribe the channel for more commerce video and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the latest notification so we have discussed advanced management accounting part 1 and this is the part 2 of advanced management accounting okay so in the previous video we have discussed the meaning definition characteristics and scope of management accounting and in this video we will be covering the principles functions importance and limitations okay so let's start the video and if you have not seen the part 1 the link is given in the description box please check it out so let's start with uh, the principles okay so we have covered all these in the last video okay so let's start with the principles so there are like nine principles which are mostly used in a management accounting okay so the first principle is principle of exemption okay so it states that in management accounting uh, a manager should give more time and more importance to cases which are exceptional or which are very rare and which are unknown factors okay it simply states that we should not waste time on our regular things but we have to focus and give time on exceptional things that is happening okay second one is principle of objectivity so there are about nine principles which are mainly considered in a management accounting okay so let's see the first principle so first principle is principle of exception what does that means it means that a manager should give uh, more attention or pay that attention to those problem which are unusual or exceptional okay they do not have to waste their time on usual problems but they have to focus on the problem which are very unusual or which are exceptional that is stated in the principle of exception then comes principle of objectivity so here in objectivity the management accounting or in management lays more emphasis on facts and figures okay accurate use of facts and figures and also a systematic prediction about the future is also made in management accounting so that is stated in the principle of objectivity as it gives more importance to the fact and figures then comes the third objective that is the principle of consistency so what is the principle of consistency the principle of consistency is followed uh, when presenting information in management that is in order to make a management accounting the data and figures should be consistent okay they should be meaningful and they should be useful so that is stated in the principle of consistency then comes the fourth principle which is principle of relevancy okay so what is the principle of relevancy management accounting focuses the attention on relevant facts and figures irrelevant information irrelevant data have no use in management accounting so while computing a management accounting or well calculating a management accounting it only focuses on the relevant data which are important for the business organization okay then comes the fifth principle that is principle of integration so as we all know management accounting uses the principle of integration uh, because this management uses a full of information that are available to them okay uh, in management accounting as we learned earlier we uses cost accounting we uses financial accounting so we uses whatever data which are available to us whatever relevant data available to us we integrate it we bring it together and study in management accounting so we can say uh, in management accounting the principle of integration is much used okay then comes principle of revaluation accounting okay so the management accounting uses the principle of revaluation accounting in order to keep the data up to up to date okay because uh, they have to get in management accounting we are predicting we are taking decision for the future so we need the data to be up to date we need the recent data so for getting that recent data and for knowing the current trend we have to keep up our data up to date and for that we use the principle of revaluation accounting okay then comes the seventh principle that is principle of utilization it say to it that the information that are given to the management accounting or the resources which are available in the business organization is used to its maximum that is it is used most efficiently and it is making profit okay that is it is profitably used 
so that is the factors which are considered that is the principle of utilization then comes the principle of accuracy as i told you in management accounting data and figures are very much important so it is very necessary that the data and the figures should be accurate and relevant okay there should be no mistake in the data the act uh, the data should be very accurate okay then comes uh, the forward looking approach as we all know management accounting is for future decision making so it is made useful through standard costing and budgetary control to anticipate and uh, prevent the problems so we can say it uses a forward looking approach so these are the major nine principles used in a management account okay so the first one is uh, exception then comes the principle of objectivity then principle of consistency principle of relevancy principle of integration then revaluation accounting then principle of utilization principle of accuracy and forward looking approach okay so these are the major principles clear so now let's see the functions of management accounting okay so the first function is planning and forecasting as we all know management accounting is for future decision making for and it is useful for the management so the first fun, the first function of management accounting is to plan and forecast for the future decision okay second one is modification and verification of data so the management accounting will modify and verify the data in such a way that it becomes more useful to the management then in management accounting analysis and interpretation of data also occur it is also a main function whatever data is available to the business organization they will analyze the data and interpret the data okay then the next function is communication so here the management will be communicating uh the data means the report they got okay so once they collect the data they analyze and interpret the data and they prepare a report and this report is communicated with the bankers creditors public okay so that is uh, is the function of communication then comes helping in coordination so whatever uh, the unnecessary things are happening in the business organization they can identify it and they can help in help the business organization in functioning more coordinately okay then comes helping in control management accounting also helps in controlling the business organization so management accounting functions as a control function also okay then comes helps in decision making that is a major function of management accounting because management accounting helps in future decision making of a management so we can say the major functions of a management accounting is first one is to planning and forecasting then to modify and verify data analysis and interpretation of data communication of data help in coordination help in control and finally help in decision making okay so i hope it's clear to you all and if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section below and also you can suggest the topic which which you wish to watch under the comment section itself okay and uh, before going to the next topic if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to let's learn for more commerce video and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the latest notification okay now let's move on to the next topic so the next is the importance so we have learned the scope we have learned the functions we have learned the principles we have learned all these things now we can focus on the importance of management accounting why is management accounting important okay so we can say management accounting help to determine the goals of the organization so we can say the first important is to determine the goals of an organization okay so uh, the management accounting tries to find out the route through which the organization can reach its goal reach its destination so the first importance is that managing the accounting helps in determining the goal of an organization okay second one is proper planning so for reaching a goal a business organization should have a proper plan and for doing that proper plan they have to uh, make some decision and for that management accounting helps so management accounting helps in proper planning in an organization then comes increased efficiency through uh, management accounting we can find the uh, usage of resources in our organization whether we are using it to the full we are using it uh, low productivity its profitability everything we can check it out okay so 
through management accounting we can see where, where wherever the resources are underutilized and we can uh, work on that part of the organization and increase our efficiency so we can say uh, this management accounting helps in increasing the efficiency of the organization okay then comes measurement of performance so management accounting is a tool for evaluation of performance so it also helps us to measure the performance and help us to improve our performance then comes maximizing profitability so as we all know every business organization profit is a main factor and every business organization tries to maximize its profit okay so management accounting helps in controlling the cost of the production and thus also helps in increasing the efficiency and thus helps the management to increase the profitability of the organization clear that is management accounting helps in controlling the cost second management accounting also helps in increasing the efficiency by doing all these we can increase our profitability so we can say uh, management accounting helps in, in increasing the profitability of the organization okay then comes effective control as i said a management accounting helps in controlling the cost as well as controlling everything in the firm business organization so it gives uh, it is a tool and technique which helps in controlling the business organization and making it work more efficiently then comes better customer service okay so the technique of cost control used in management accounting aims at reducing cost by which the customers will be impressed okay so all the employees in the organization are made cost conscious and this in turn reduces the cost of price cost of production thus reduces the price of the product so we can say the quality of pro product is improved because of quality standards are predetermined and in this way customers are able to get more quality product at a lower price by which customers will be very happy okay so management accounting also helps in giving the better services to the customers then comes prompt correct and quick decision when we have management accounting we know the flaws and we know the strength of an organization so it helps us making quick prompt and uh, quick uh, correct decisions for the organization for the future okay so these are some of the major importance of uh, management accounting so the next important we can say is reduction in business risk okay so when we have all the data available we can predict the future risk which can come and we can be prepared for facing that future risk so management accounting in a way helps in reducing the uh, business risk okay then we can see effective communication well after collecting after analyzing and after interpreting all the data we will be pre presenting a full on report which report we can give to our bankers creditors uh, public so it also helps in effective communication in the organization okay then employee morale employee morale will also be increased by management accounting and improve standard of living so these are the major importance of management accounting i hope it's clear to you okay now let's focus on the limitation of management accounting as there are so much of so many importance of management accounting there are some of the major limitations of management accounting so the first limitation is that it is based on accounting information okay because we are collecting uh, information from cost accounting from financial accounting so everything we are taking the data only from the accounting information so that is one of the major drawback second is lack of knowledge for doing management accounting we have to know what is management accounting its techniques its tool if we do not have that knowledge or if we are lack of that knowledge we will not make an effective impact on the organization so that is also a limitation then comes not a substitute for management whatever happened management is more important so management accounting can never be a substitute for management okay then comes personal judgment so while uh, we are analyzing the management report every managers will have their own personal judgment so based on that there may be some conflict so based on that uh, personal judgment the decision also differ so that is also a limitation then management accounting is very costly process 
because we have collecting data from everything like cost accounting financial accounting and then we are analyzing the data and interpreting the data and finally preparing reports so it is a costly process then resistance some uh, business organization are resistant to change so even though we get a proper report on management accounting there will be some resistance then comes wide scope this management accounting gives a wide scope for the business organization but utilizing that wide scope is very much necessary if it is not utilized properly it can lead to losses so that, these are some of the major limitations of a, a management accounting okay so yes that's it so we have discussed the meaning definition scope uh, features of management accounting in part 1 of the video so if you have not seen that part 1 the link is given in the description box please check it out and this is the part 2 and in this video we discuss the scope limitation importance and principles of management accounting so i hope it's clear to you all so, and if you have any doubt please put in the comment section below and give your freshest feedback under the comment section and also suggest the topic which wish you wish to watch okay so if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and also share this channel to all commerce students you know please please do share this channel and uh, for more commerce video keep watching let's learn thank you